What is going on, everyone? Mr. Mom Collectibles, and I am back with another video. Something very exciting to the channel today, and you are going to be watching a pre recorded unboxing of the in art Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Now, this is going to be unboxed by a very good friend of mine, Carlos. You've seen him on the channel before in live streams and in videos. And he got this figure in literally just a couple of days ago at the time of this recording and uh, was going to do an unboxing. And we, after a conversation, he and I agreed um, to do an unboxing on the channel. He wanted a documented you know, recording of it. And I thought it was something fun for the channel to do. Definitely drop a like on this video and please consider subscribing to this channel if it is in fact your first time. And most importantly, drop a comment below. Give me your thoughts. If you have the figure, do you love it? What concerns do you have about it? Is it your first in art figure or do you still have it on order and haven't received it yet? Definitely drop a comment below. I want to engage with you all out there. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we are here, and I have my good friend Carlos with me. As I said in the intro, he's been on a couple live streams and some videos, so you guys know him all too well already. And as I said, he's gotten this figure in, and after a discussion, you know, he's going to do an unboxing. Like I said, because of our schedules, um, it's hard to nail down a live stream time that we can really dedicate. And so we are doing this pre-recorded. It is going to be an unedited video, so what you see is, is happening. It's just going to be him and I conversing. We have multiple cameras set up, and like I said, I'll remove myself and have him on the main screen. Uh, full disclosure, like I said, because this is going to be an unedited video, we are not looking to get any awards for cinematography here. Because you know, the fact is, um, if you want to see like more high quality shot, you can, there's other videos out there. This is more about getting a unboxing done from someone who's never owned in art before and kind of just the overall experience. I do have in art on order, but like I said, this is my first time kind of partaking in one of these. So, Carlos, how are you doing today, my friend? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So um, I got some questions for you, but let's just jump right into it. Let's just start cutting the sucker open, shall we? I think okay. those watching, um, you know, they just want to get to the meat and potatoes of this and start slicing this thing open and see what we got going on. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be, uh, as he's opening this up, like I said, we are on split screen here. However, when we get to some juicier things, I will bring him up on full screen. And we also have a secondary camera. So I only want to play that stuff when it's needed. Um, but I'll be doing some just commentary and talking in the background while you are opening that up. Um, but Carlos, if you don't mind me, I'm going to drop some questions while you're doing sure. this. Um so like I said, I kind of alluded to, this is your first in-art figure, correct? Correct. Yeah. What made you pre-order this one? Um, I guess like most figures, right? I saw the uh, uh, prototype pictures looked really good. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm trying to remember if the Joker was actually out. I don't know if it was 100% out in the wild at the time. I don't think it was. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, the only other option was Asmus. Yeah. And this looked a lot better, and I'm a Lord of the Rings fan, so I decided to give it a shot. It's fantastic. And, um, I mean, from what I've seen so far, it looks really good. So I have uh, high expectations for this one. Absolutely. So for those out there, I mean, this figure, um, I would dare say the the batch or the the amount of figures made probably wasn't as high as, like, the Joker was. I feel like once that Joker got released into the wild – everybody had it it was just popping up on so many feeds but i do think that with certain figures from in art there is less and less figures made or batches for that matter the gandalf being one of them but i do have to admit to those out there watching um lord of the rings i'm not not a huge fan of it i respect it but not a big deal to me but uh this figure was pretty it was pretty breathtaking seeing photos of it i will say right um, just the whole, you know, the sculpted hair, the beard. That's one criticism from Hot Toys that I do have when they're doing the artisans is when they're doing figures, like, for example, the Jack Sparrow that we just got, um, they didn't root or do anything with the beard itself. Although that Jack Sparrow has minimal facial hair, um, they didn't do anything with it, you know, per se, which I thought was interesting. So I do wonder if Hot Toys is going to take a shot at doing rooted beards or anything like that in the future if they do, in fact, tackle a artisan with a beard. So that'll be something interesting to see. I mean, I'm trying to remember if, the, if I. This is the only rooted beard figure I can remember. I yeah, I mean, if anyone drop a any? comment below and let us know, but yeah, to me, my knowledge, it's the only full. Um, I don't know, but well, Asmus does them, right? Oh, he, true, he, true. Asmus yeah. does do them, but you know, I don't know a lot of others. I would say to this quality, let's put it that way, because yeah, yeah and, no, knock, no knock on the Asmus if anyone has it out there, but 
you know. Yeah, and this is a figure that lends itself for that, right? With the beard size. Yeah, one hundred percent, absolutely. Um, one interesting thing to note is these little corner protectors are actually mm -hmm. factory because they have the inner yeah. tape on them. So that's so one those added. came from those came from Inart, not from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems that way with the tape, right? So where did you actually order this figure from? Uh, one six kit. One and six kit. I didn't get the initial pre-order batch. Mm -hmm. I there were some that opened up later. It's like a second, okay. I don't know if it was second batch or if there were some cancellations and they okay. opened that up again, but I, I wasn't one of the first ones to pre-order it on the kit. Absolutely. So that's an interesting thing that I'll talk about for those while you're doing the opening. Um, for those who aren't taking a hint, I will be the the filler, if you will, because we don't we're trying to avoid any kind of dead audio in this. So this video is very, like I said, it's very raw and uncut as you uh, expect, you know, but uh, that's the whole point of this is that, you know, you're seeing what we're seeing because this would be live. Like I said, we wouldn't edit anything. And so Carlos and I agreed not to really edit any of the video. Um, but that's the one thing about in art, which is interesting, is that, you know, the figures, um, you think that they go up for pre-order and then they close out and then they magically reappear open. That's the interesting thing about it. Right. Or they miss the cutoffs where they tell you, hey, deadline is here, but it goes on further. But um, what do we got here? So it's, I'll take it out to confirm it. It almost seems like a shipper within a shipper. Okay. We'll find out now. Let me uh, flip it, slide it out. We're going to pull you up on the main screen. So it's going to be you on solo. There we go. All right. That works. Okay. So. This is just the, um, I guess, a standard in art shipper, and I mean, it does have the kind of like Hot Toys. It has the, uh, yeah, what do you call it, uh, figure and what it is. But there's an additional shipper that has more of the Lord of the Rings branding on it. Interesting. So, so it's I a shipper within cool. a shipper. Yeah. Yeah. So. Extra protection. I'm not complaining at all about it. Yeah. And uh, when I ordered this from Kit, I mean, I it came in another shipper box like sealed really well with bubble wrap and everything so, so. you take so that's actually a good question i was going to ask that we didn't have that on video so there's mm -hmm. actually a third box so this isn't the fact none of this came from kit the way like if you order from hot toys those who know you get literally the hot toy shipper with the logo and everything on this was inside another box because we've all those many people who have ordered from kit myself including you get very good packaging it's like bomb proof packaging you get a bigger correct. box and that's this came inside that correct yeah like okay perfect. um it's really good. So from Inart, you get a double shipper. It's a generic shipper with just the figure information and then like more of a branded uh, shipper box. Perfect. And um, I mean, kit, I've never had an issue with any. Yeah, no, either way. Packaging is always Perfect. great. The bo box came pristine, if you can notice. Awesome. Cool. So yeah. for those out there, we'll kind of keep a little checklist. So points on so far, uh, I would say the relationship of getting the Fig, the in art figure from kit it sounds like you're gonna get fantastic packaging overall i mean obviously things can get damaged in transit but it sounds like there's a home run hit with the way that it's packaged and secured so no i, I wouldn't expect there to be any concerns of the actual damaging to the package sounds like it's uh well protected yep very happy with it and for those out there that are watching this i'm gonna pull you off and we'll jump back in uh for those who uh are uh are watching um you know like I said, my daughter might, you might hear some background noise, my daughter yelling because my daughter is downstairs. We are filming this on a Saturday afternoon. So if you are a parent, you can understand if you have kids, uh, they get re real, uh, a little reckless in the afternoons. So like I said, if you hear any background noise, I do apologize about that. Once again, I opted to keep this raw and, uh, raw and unedited. So here we go. This is the actual box itself. Carlos, we're going to pull you back up on the on the main, on your main screen here. Well, I can tell you right now, so far, as we all know, I mean, in our uh, pricing is a little higher or yeah. quite a bit higher than Hot Toys for a standard figure. And so far, the uh, unboxing experience reflects that. So I'm actually really happy with the unboxing. That's fantastic. So Absolutely great to hear. Absolutely and then great. We'll go, actually, this is the front of the box right here. There you go. Sorry, Lord of the Rings off. That. It's a beautiful looking box, too. Oh, yeah, it's great. I love it. Um, this is a little slip cover, and oh, nice. it's actually transparent plastic. So. Oh, nice. And then underneath, um, you know, box. oh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, Hot Toys comes with the just the plastic that goes on top mm -hmm. and at the bottom. This looks like it's actually shrink wrapped. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I do see the shrink wrap around the corners and stuff. I mean, it's not not super tight, but um, it's really it's sealed. So, um, yeah, that's a good indication if you buy one, if you got a new figure or not. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That'll be sealed. So. 
Um, I'm going to cut into this. I don't think there's any, I know a lot of people are like very um, particular about packaging and trying to save all the components. Like I personally, I even save the plastic that come with hot toy boxes. Yeah. I know you're not a box person, I, but um, I'm not a box person. I see it. Uh, it's not going to be very easy. I think this is not going to be salvageable since it's all just so. Yeah, oh, that's just, just going to be, yeah. Me. There you go. So, yeah, it just falls right apart. So there's not any savings. It's not worth keeping. Um, so I can tell you right now, this is actually going to be even easier to view the box art now because I took the plastic. There's going to be any glare, but it's a uh, it's almost like a um, fabric, fabric uh, layer to the box um, mm -hmm. that's matted. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously, this I think this spins. Yeah, it spins. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the box is literally like a fabric. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, it's all like a canvas, like a canvas. Correct. Ooh, little mistake there. So I'm gonna lay this flat. But I have um, you on the other camera, by the way, it's just so you're aware. Oh, gotcha. So there's the foam. Try to make mm -hmm. this a little bit easier to see. No, you're fine. And by all means, like, like, don't let anything fall out. Like, we're not worried about that. Like, we've seen unboxings I'm before. Lay it so, flat. Yeah, no, no, no. Please, to be clear, the uh, protection of the figure is most important. So you do not have to like show us anything. Like, I don't want anything falling out okay. necessarily. I appreciate that. And um, I guess there's some information here. Mm hmm. A little paperwork, which yep. I mean, we can go into that later if you want. Yeah, we can skip that. Yeah, we can go through because that's like I said, that kind of stuff. I know, like it's a thank you letter and you know mm -hmm. all that stuff that's been done before. That stuff that I know that, like I said once again, there's been numerous videos done of this figure unboxing. The goal here is to kind of, like we said, you, you this is your first in art figure, and so the idea is maybe more or less talking about the overall unboxing experience of the figure. Um, once again, we're not looking to win awards for, you know, cinematography. So there's other reviewers out there that have done really nice reviews if you want to check them out on YouTube. All right. So, Carlos, you have the figure out what, um, you know, you drive the unboxing. So whatever you think you want to look at first, if you want to look at the sculpt first, make sure everything's intact. By all means, just go at it and then just surprise me. Sure. Um, I mean, I'm going to go straight for the kill. I'm not going to yep. un take it out of the cylinder, but I am going to take the uh sculpt out i mean yeah. i will take it out of the cylinder but it's not the first thing i'm gonna do and um i'm happy to say that uh mine came in great condition it seems like okay the head sculpt did not pop off of the peg in there perfect so um i can see where there's some futzing that might need to happen with the hair i'm not going to do it on this video obviously right because i'm no expert i'm gonna have to figure all that out yeah. but i think it looks really good for just out of the box let me tell you just the, looking at it here it looks it looks very impressive. It does. Um, right. Concerns, you know, I won't lie to you. We spoke to some people that have the figure and they were kind of giving us a checklist of some things to kind of look at, like when you're unboxing. And obviously one of them, which I was not a known issue with this figure. It, it only happened on a few, but I know one concern is, does that head pop off of the peg bouncing around inside the jar? You know, that's only happened on a handful of Joker figures. It's not like it was a known thing. So luckily this thing, you know, this sculpt was packaged securely, no issues. And just by the looks of it, I mean, it looks really great. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any issues for, you know, maybe you don't have to do a full, you know, you know, if you want to pop it on the body, but at least maybe we'll pop it out of that case a little bit later just to kind of see what it looks like, you know, exposed. Oh, yeah, but my, my, my plan for today is to uh, take the figure out completely, attach the head sculpt and have yep. it at, at minimum standing on the on yeah, stand. Yeah, perfect. So. Awesome. I want and, your thoughts um, on that magnetic base too. Perfect. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out. And, you know, I mean, the bags, it's just bags, right? But they're yeah, actually it's pretty fine. decent bags. They're soft, really good bags. Yeah. And um, this is the book. And I guess this is just some, it's uh, do not really, uh, some little instructions do not fully lay the book flat. I guess you're not supposed to open it completely. Oh, because the so, page is creasing and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. You can damage the spine, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. if you. If you open the book all the that's, way, that's that's similar to the Hot Toys Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He comes with the 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 book also, and that's one of those two that you're kind of like not meant to fully crack that thing open. It's mostly Correct. looks really nice, really detailed, and I believe all the pages are there's all actual pages on that, right? 
there's writing in all the pages on weathering. So it's got That's printed awesome. weathering that makes it look like the edges are, I'm trying to see if I could pick that up on camera. Yeah, no, you're fine. Are the pages smooth? Like the material, like is it just regular print, like regular printer paper or is you tell the like, paper you tell is of higher quality? No, it's really good paper. Um, the pages are new and crisp, but okay. they print weathering on it to make them look old, which I think gotcha. is a really nice effect. They did it really well. I'm really awesome. happy with this book, actually. Wow, that's awesome. It's got some battle damage there, if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's really that's awesome. cool. I like that. And then, I mean, we can pull the hands out. I'm not going to go through all the hands. No, right, no, no, no. We'll save our save but, the viewers, but we get an idea of hand, you know. You I'll just take take one of the hands out so we can see yeah let's take a look. let me know and... let, let, let me know your thoughts like i said you you i mean the the proof is on the screen you have numerous hot toys behind you you have blitzway behind you you have other brands so just out of curiosity how does it compare to you know that kind of stuff in terms of quality just let me know what you think i can say at minimum that these are probably some of the most detailed hands i've seen on a one six scale figure that's awesome I mean, That's I don't know really, if you can pick it up. Yeah, like I said, the camera's going to pick up some of it there. Yeah, like I said, you know, it, it, I could see the quality, but that's awesome. I'm going by your, you know, what in, you're saying. In hand, I mean, he has uh, liver spots, right? Yeah. And creases, veins. The the fingernails even have grime under them, which is, I think, is really cool. That's really awesome. And you have the magnetic peg in there. Yeah. See the magnet in there. So, yep. um, yeah, I think that's really cool. I'm just going to pull the hands up, put them on the side. Yeah, 100%. And then... um. And then I'll go for the figure and we'll just check that Perfect. out. Um, the packaging is all like high quality foam inside, like you mm -hmm. like a DX figure, which I think yeah. it's actually stiffer foam than a DX figure. So I like that. Nice. I'm a sucker for unboxing experience. So yeah, no, that's what I'm interested in. And there's a couple things I want to go over and get your thoughts on as this goes. And maybe we'll recap it at the end. But, you know, we'll kind of recap everything of kind of where you feel. But like there's there is some things I would like to try to test out, I guess as us being non in our people meaning this is your first one i don't have one yet but you hear stuff online can't get away from it right in terms mm -hmm. of how the magnet system works are you satisfied with the magnet system what i mean like for the hands uh attaching the figure to the display base and even maybe like uh you know the quality overall of how you think it's going to hold up things like that yeah yeah so far obviously i'll reserve judgment completely for when the figures completely unboxed but so far so good i mean i'm really happy with it so far so these are all the hands I'm trying to make sure yeah you get um you get uh three pairs nice. and um interesting thing is it's not hot toy style where well, not all the time right hot toy sometimes has some one-off hands but um mm -hmm. the only two hand there's actually let me see how this goes there we go um Yeah, so it almost seems like uh, there's really like there's not a full matching three pairs. So you oh, have, everything is different. You have one pair here. I'm just doing this as a pair because the rest of the hands don't match. Like this is open mm -hmm. palm. This is kind of like a grabbing something, and then these two are both left hands. So just trying to make sure I got all the hands that go with it. It seems like I did. It seems just like they have um, two pairs and then two sets of left-handed gesturing hands. Or this one grabs a staff, I think, and this one points forward. So, but that's the selection of hands that came with it. Um, nice. So, I'll pull the figure out if you're okay with yeah, that. Yeah, let's get for the body and see how that looks and get your thoughts on that. So he's inside. So, so every so he's inside actual like a plastic, like he's wrapped in like a bag. It looks like. Correct. And it actually works because a lot of times with hot toys, yeah. you got to like fidget with a DX figure to pull the figure mm -hmm. out and you feel like you're going to break something. I just pulled it up by the bag to get leverage and nice. That worked out nice. And you see what it and looks obviously, like. And obviously, for those watching, once again, for the sake of the time constraints and things like that, Carlos is going to do, you know, he's not going to do a complete assembly work you know final posing you know he just like he said is going to get the sculpt out on the body so he can give us feedback in terms of how all of that works but when it comes to i would say final posing what i can do actually at the end of this video is carlos when you're when you're satisfied if you get it posed up to satisfactory maybe we'll do send me a couple photos or maybe even send me a video and i'll attach it to the end of this so people can kind of see what you're maybe what you know what you're satisfied with it being in your display what the final look is once you kind of uh futz with the hair and get it in a nice pose maybe you set a little video to me and i'll attach it to the end of this so people can kind of see what the final product looks like that you're satisfied with sure yeah that sounds good to me um That's awesome. 
we'll do that. And uh, I'm going to leave it on box. So I'll pose it up and send pictures for sure. Yeah. Um, there's obviously another pair of hands on the body yep. and they match. So they're like open. Um, nice. One thing I like is the joints are act. This body is actually pretty good so far from what I can tell. I haven't put it through mm -hmm. its paces and I'm not going to go crazy articulating it. Yeah. But um, I know we're talking about the magnetic stand and mm -hmm. uh the joints are actually very tight on the ankles and knees oh, that's good so i don't think this will have any problems standing as long as the magnets are strong enough mm -hmm. and uh you know i'm just got to be mindful of posing it in a way that that's bounced properly but of that's course. without the stand right now yeah and what about the weight of the figure it seems like it's got some weight to it like quality like, like i mean without going too far into, i mean it feels like it's quality so far oh yeah yeah it's got it's i mean it's a fabric outfit it still has weight to mm -hmm. it so yeah, it's not cheap plastic. You can tell it's pretty dense, good quality plastic for the body. And like That's I said, awesome. all the joints are tight. And the elbow joints are actually tight but smooth, so I like that feeling. That's good. And um, you know, magnetic neck peg. Yep. It's got a notch, so I, that that'll be the last part. Obviously, I don't want to go crazy futzing with the head sculpt just yet because I know it's a pain in the butt to get out of that canister. Yeah. And this is all the foam that it came, comes in. Mm -hmm. So it's double layered foam. Um. So I'm trying to figure this out. The sword was just sitting on top there, not really in anything. Like mm -hmm. there's no like foam insert. Oh, okay. So the sword actually popped out of the foam insert and the plastic, but I don't see any damage to it. So just be mindful. There's a lot of accessories in this thing. And this die cast sword is actually really nice. That's awesome. This is actually probably one of my favorite accessories in a while. If it has good weight to it, it doesn't feel like it's too heavy for the hand, but um, it looks great. I love it. Uh, for those, just to kind of give some reference to a die cast weapons, like another example would be the DX06 Jack Sparrow and the DX15. They both came with die cast swords. And there's something about that. It's just you don't see that anymore from Hot Toys. Um, I, I made a criticism yeah. of that with the new artisan Jack Sparrow that it doesn't look like we might get one with that. And, uh, you know, they might, you know, it's a sword, but sometimes uh, those little added extras go a long mile in my book. So it's nice. Yeah. Um, there's some bits and bobs in you here. To, I mean, you don't have to remove any of that stuff. That's not necessary. No, it could get, we can get into the weeds with this. Yeah. We're, 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 you know, the core aspect of the figure, as long as everything meets, you know, you get your thoughts on everything. But yeah, the little tidbits like that, I don't want you, you know, for the sake of, I don't want you losing anything for the that's sake of. There's a letter in there with the seal and then the rings actually in here. Like, oh, that's cool. Ring. Yeah. Like I said, that kind of stuff you don't have to go nuts about. And uh, this is the, uh, I guess the uh, what do you call it where you put the sword on the belt oh it's hold like the um yeah and i guess it slides in so i'm gonna sort of, yep slides in smoothly fits nice. perfectly cool so we'll set that down and um what's this sorry there's a lot to unpack here yeah no problem like i said if there's any like small bits exclude those because like I said, we're just really worrying about like the core, you know, the head sculpt, the body, the figure, and getting your overall thoughts of the experience. So, um, you know, if there's any small bits and things like that, you can, you know, you don't have to waste a lot of time on that stuff. Yeah. All right. And uh, just be careful. One thing to note is I pulled the pipe out mm -hmm. and um, it's pretty tight in there and it kind of popped out. Fortunately, it didn't get damaged. It's like in the bag wrapped in there. It's hard to see what it is, but be careful yeah. pulling it out. You could snap it. Um. These, these are this. This I do want to showcase. These are lighting effects for the staff. Yeah, perfect. All the batteries awesome. and everything. So you have that. And then, um, trying to, I'm honestly, I'm going through and everything's in bags. So I, I don't know what I'm pulling out when I pull it out. So bear with me. Now, does that, now does that? I know I'm, I'm not nitpicking, but like I said, asking these questions, does, it, does that kind of concern you when it comes to? I can see going through this stuff and when everything's in bags you don't know what it is so you're kind of like holding your breath in terms of you know you know what's damaged what's not like you said with the pipe you didn't know it was inside the bag until you really got it in your hand so does that kind of concern you that you're just seeing a bunch of like bags inside the box and you're, you're not sure what's what or it's really that's kind of a, a frivolous so concern? um i i think that in general the general statement for that is just be careful unboxing and mm -hmm. take your time don't right. assume just carefully pull things out when you're yeah. playing around see what they are um 
my biggest concern is that, and again, there was no damage to my sword, but the, the sword did pop out of the uh, foam insert. Okay. So just be mindful, you know, double check all your accessories and make sure they're not broken. Cause it seems like, you know, with shipping and I'm not blaming in art. I mean, it's hard to get all this right. Um, the way they treat these packages sometimes it's bound to happen. So just be mindful. This is the staff. Uh, it looks really well painted. Like I'm really happy with this, honestly. The texture's great. It's not some cheap afterthought of an accessory. They put a lot of thought into the staff. That's awesome. So. And um, what is this? I guess this is the uh, additional staff, which I'll take out because I mean it's a important accessory. And then after this, I guess there's another layer because the base isn't here yet. So. Yep, yep, it's another staff. So I know he had two staffs in the movie. Mm -hmm. So there's the other that staff. Great. That was great. Oh, yeah, same quality as the previous one. And, oh, see, search the bags properly because there's extra stuff. This is another piece, which I have to figure out what it's for. And, um, I mean, I think that's it for this layer. So let me pull this off and see if there's anything else. I'm sure there's another layer in here because the base. Yep. Oh, man, this is chock full of stuff. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Yep. Yep. And um, I guess these are, is it? I think it, I know it comes with like some fireworks or something. So, oh, okay. So that little stick, I think, is part of the fireworks as well. Oh, there, yeah. Yep. There you go. So we'll take all the fireworks out. I'm not going to go crazy with the fireworks. I think it's nice that they included it, but I'm not really going to use it myself. And this is probably going to need some fudging. This is the, uh, oh, yeah, the actual the hat. hat. Kind of came in there flat in a bag, so you probably have to play around with that. And it yeah. seems like it's wired. So that's nice. Um, Silica bag. More fireworks, I believe. There you go. And again, everything, all the accessories are, even though I'm not using them, they blow me away at the detail they have. They look really well made. And this is, I guess, his uh, pouch that goes oh, on his yep. belt, I believe. So we'll mess around with that later. And what else? Oh, this is, I'm assuming this is his cloak. Uh... Yeah, that's exactly what it is. This is a cloak. So I like the thickness of the fabric. It's good for one six scale. You know, I would be careful. You know, you don't want to discolor anything. I'm sure this what, is um, die on. So in terms of in terms of the quality, in terms of like, is there anything with Hot Toys related that you can maybe compare it to in terms of the quality of it, or just so we have an idea for anyone who doesn't? Um, I like think this key. is on par with like newer Hot Toys. Mm -hmm. um materials because back in the yeah. day you know they use that thicker material that didn't scale yeah. right with the figures so yeah, 100%. this is really well made i mean i don't see much weathering on it they've got the tattered edges right yeah um but i think it's completely serviceable i think it's going to look good on the figure um i would assume that would have assumed there'd be more weathering on it right but mm -hmm. it looks good to me i'm not complaining about it awesome and it's the pipe right and then um the only other thing left in here is the base which I'll pull out. And the base has some weight to it for the size. It's got a little placard on the bottom. Mm -hmm. nice. And this is the front. Not much to it, but I'm sure it's magnetized here, right? So we'll test that out yep. in a few. Yep. All right. Um, do you want me to actually set it up in front of the camera or do you want to yeah i would say um for the sake of the video let's if, if you don't mind let's maybe just do a brief setup you don't have to go crazy with the accessories like the pouch is or the extra cloak i'm just curious about like maybe the head sculpt on the figure and then maybe just the figure on the sure. base and just kind of see where they're there and then maybe do a test out of the hands just to test out all the component like how is how's the magnets feel things like that so right off the bat you're popping the figure right on the display base and um give me your thoughts i'm gonna let you play around with it give me your thoughts and um, I think the magnet is fairly strong. It's not mm -hmm. a terrible magnet. Um, what I would say is even though it has a magnetized base and it stands there, mm -hmm. um, 
I feel because it's a weighted figure, it's not a light body, be really careful posing it before you magnetize it and make sure it's bounced properly. Because, yeah. like, I mean, it's holding up pretty well. I'm giving a little bit of a push and it's holding. So I know in the past they've, you've seen the Gandalf figures keel over. Yeah. Um, it definitely is leaning more towards the back. If I press the feet down, you see it moves. Yeah, but, but you still, have I mean, to, but you really have to kind of get the your hands dirty with it and do a, a proper pose up and everything like that. Correct. So this, but I, to be I'm, fair, I'm okay is, with the base so far. I mean, I have to. Play yeah, this more, is just so straight far, out of the box, good. like what's going on. Yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. And this is the moment of truth. I've heard a lot of stories about how uh, this is difficult to get out. And so, if you don't mind, if we if we slide that head, that, that body out of the way, I want to get that. I want to try to get you in a frame on that head sculpt just to kind of see. Um, that was a test yeah, so there. Like you were just, for up. example, you were just, yeah, I was going to say, you are just an example, picking that straight up with one hand and still stayed on there. So moment of truth. All the right, head sculpt. let's give it a shot. I'm assuming this top part pops off, right? Okay, yeah. So it's just a little plastic cover with edges on it to mm -hmm. hold it in. And then um, what I'm going to do is do the same on the bottom and pull the cylinder out because I'm not going to pull it out that way. I probably should have done the bottom. Well, looks like the sculpt is attached to the bottom too. So, yeah. Yep. There you go. It wasn't too bad. I mean, you've got to give it some elbow grease to get it out. And let me recommendation, see I guess, would say take it out from the bottom first. Yeah. Correct. Um, okay. And this, sorry, you know, I'm getting the mirror image on my screen, so I'm trying to pose it properly. But yeah, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not worried about the. A... I'm not worried great, about this. Honestly, it does. Yeah, I'm happy so how with the, it. So how does the beard look? Does the beard, even though it's out of, you know, it's factory, does the beard look disproportionate? Does it look like it's maybe, you know, does it look like it's in proportion? I mean, combing and futzing aside, obviously that's going to have to happen. But I'm just curious in terms of the actual proportions of the beard. Does the hairs look symmetrical? Like, does everything look good from what um, you see? I, th I think it looks good. I think it's going to require futzing. Um it's uh i i think this is as good as you're gonna get a rooted figure out of the box right that's fair. i mean what else that's what fair. else can you ask for out of a rooted yeah. figure you know because you also have to be because you, you also have to be mindful is that you're gonna have to put that on the body so any futzing you do with the hair you're gonna like mess it up by putting it so it's better just to get all that grunt work out of the way and futz the hair while it's on the body attached because there's no way that you can really successfully clean up that look and then put it on the body without there having to be you know another touch up if that makes sense correct correct and um trying to find the best way to do this and i'm not going to do this off camera because um i want to get it right so okay so i remember watching a video previously and you twist it off the uh neck peg there so it okay. came off don't, fairly don't easily correct you've got to twist it um in this direction and it came right off okay. so easily actually this was a much smoother experience than i expected it to be That's but awesome. again i've had the benefit of watching some videos prior to this which i happen to remember okay so there's definitely a way to do this because there's a little notch on the neck i almost wonder if they'll like move the beard out of the way like move it up to press it down yeah so gonna... it's I'm not trying to do too much with, this, with the rooted hair, right? So we're going to, and let me just make sure. It... Oh, it's holding. Magnet's good. There's definitely product oh. in the hair from what I can feel. Um, so the, so the uh, scope is note, magnetized. So you put it on there and it was like. It kind of snapped into place. Um, mm -hmm. And be very careful moving the head around um some of the beard does come i don't know if you can see that that it's got folds like yeah, it was tucked underneath that. where it was so mm. i mean let me move this up a little bit yep there you go. i see it there's definitely because of packaging i mean it's unavoidable it's not in art's fault either um it some of the beard was tucked tucked under and hitting this so it's folded okay in, which there was the more beard was longer than actually. yeah I almost, it almost makes you wonder if that clear pole should have been taller to avoid the beard from being like compressed, if that makes sense. True, true. That was an option. I mean, 
the cylinder has some height to it, but it could have used because you could see you could see, I can see the curling of the beard, so that's going to take a little bit of a straightener to get that more you know accurate. Correct, and so far, I mean, my only thing with this is this is definitely a set it and forget it figure. You do not want to be messing with this head sculpt too much after you have it on the peg because mm -hmm. like I can feel um, the product in it, and you don't want to rub it off or. Um, side note for people freaking out, I did wash my hands really well before touching it. I'm not a, I'm not the type of person that messes with figures with gloves. I, I use my hands, but I make sure I clean them of all the oils before I play around with my figures. I, uh, long story short, I broke a figure once cause it wasn't tactile enough and I couldn't feel right with the gloves. And I, so bad experience. I just avoid it now. Um, but I mean, that's it out of the box. I mean, with no posing, obviously this isn't how I'm going to display it, but, uh, my, um, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a great figure. Can you can you do one demo if you don't mind of removing a hand and put a different hand on there just sure. to try to, to test out the peg system? Sure. And I'm pulling one off now. Um, so what I'll say is so far I like the feel of it. I think um, even though it's magnetic, there is definitely a little bit of a friction fit to it. With um, mm -hmm. it's just a really light peg with a magnet to reinforce it is really what it is. And taking it off was really easy. I'll tell you now my experience putting it on. All right, I'm going to have to take this yeah, off. It's dude. not as easy as I thought it would be. So. I have you on all three cameras just for the sake of. Oh, no, it's all good. Um, let me try another hand and see if it's something with the hand. Yep. So that one's just, I've, I've got to play around with that one. That was just a little tighter. Okay. There's yeah. definitely some, a little bit of, um, effort or you have to push it in so a little tight. To, to so taking them off was easy. Was, so taking it off was relatively easy, but putting it on required some, some effort. <laughs> So what I'm getting from it so far is, and yeah. I'll, I'll I'll play with all of them and give you my final notes on it mm -hmm. down the line. But it seems like everyone's a little different, so it depends okay. on the hand. You know, some are tighter than others. Which, I mean, as long as it holds, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, that's awesome. So I mean, that's pretty much the figure. So I want to close out this the solo camera remove here, and now it's just you and I. So we're gonna kind of wrap up the video because, as I said, the intent of this. Um, and with in art figures and just from my experience so far looking at this it, it it's really something that's going to take time to go through oh see it's a <laughs> i and, mean um you gotta be careful moving it so no i know that was just a little oopsie joke i had to throw that in there because people are going to sit right. there and go, oh no that's just fine that was more like carlos was moving it but the fact is it does i, I can appreciate the fact that this is one that carlos you're going to probably take some time with to really go through everything it's going to require maintenance so for anybody i know there's other videos out there that have been done where viewers kind of criticize well you know taking the time the the whole point of this video and i want to recap with him now was carlos has never owned it in our product and so therefore i wanted to get his natural reaction recorded while opening up and looking at all of these components so that being said what is your thoughts on this figure from what you see right now and i want to get some recap thoughts that i will add i'll i will cut at the time of filming this video right now i will add an additional quick little uh, outro will which will just be myself to get carlos back on screen for it but carlos will definitely feed me some notes and like i said i'll ask him and as a matter of fact what you will do carlos when you get a chance film a video on your phone right it could be whatever quality doesn't matter and in the video just kind of recap your thoughts on it you know okay. when it's finalized like get it to the position that you're happy with and you know the maintenance alone beard and just film like a two minute video and what i'll do is i'll edit at the end of this and that way people can hear it from yourself, what your thoughts are on the figure. Um, but what I want to do is get your out of the box thoughts right now. So you, we've got it out, checked out the head sculpt, did a couple hand swaps, the base. What's your impression right now? How do you feel? And to be honest with you, do you think as of right now, you know, you got your money's worth out of it? Like you feel like you got what you paid for? Um, so far, yes. I, I think it's a great figure. Um, only reason I'm, and I'll give it a rating out of 10 if you're okay with that. Um, that's fine yeah absolutely i'll give it a 9.5 only wow. and, and it's not not that it's not going to be a 10 um 
I, I have to really play with the figure and, and, mm -hmm. and I mean, there's a lot of moving parts. So I want to leave myself yeah. some room for criticism if there is something, but so far, I mean, the quality is great. There's, there's nothing out of the box so far that I've seen that's wrong other than things that are just part of owning a rooted figure, which is the time you mm -hmm. have to spend on it. And I know some people aren't up for that. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. And it's not definitely not a figure that you want to play with too much once you've posed it in a way you like to see it. It's mm -hmm. definitely a, a not not one of those figures you have at your desk that you you know pose around. So just FYI. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, the point of the video here was to do a raw unboxing from someone that does not own in art figures yet. And like I said, Carlos was gracious enough to um, to do this for me and the channel. Uh, he is not a YouTuber, so you know he never had the figure before. He doesn't have a channel, and so this just gives you a different perspective. I'm so great, everything turned out, and he's happy with it. Um, like I said at the end of this video, there is going to be a little bit of extra footage for you guys. I am asking Carlos once again to take his phone. And to, you know, give us a little bit of an update from the time of recording this to where the figure is satisfactory for his collection to be on his shelf. Um, as you can see, it's going to take some time to get the figure futz, to get everything good. And that's kind of one thing that people are curious about. You see these final photos on Instagram, and on Facebook and things, but people maybe don't understand the level that's needed to get it from A to B or A to Z for that matter, in terms of how much effort it's going to take to get the figure to a standard that the collector is happy with. And that's what we're going to find out from Carlos. So like I said, Carlos, um, shoot that video for me. Um, let me know, you know, how long it really kind of took you to get to that level that we're going to see. And also the rating system. Does this still hold to that 9.5? And was there anything that you discovered while kind of futzing with it, the extra accessories, things like that, that we didn't see here? Um, let us know. I'm so excited to find out and get that video footage. And like I said, I'll add it to the end of this video so people can see and uh, hear from yourself. Yeah, 100%. I'll, I'll be happy to do it. I'm actually looking, really looking forward to uh, um, getting this posed up and futzed up the way I want it. So. Um, I'll let, definitely let you know my thoughts and, and thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I actually had a lot of fun unboxing it with you and it, it's hard sometimes, right? I, I, I get backed up on unboxing and it's nice when, you know, you get a little bit of moral support to go through and do it. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And like I said, really big thank you to you because this is a very intimate thing. And it's, I really appreciate being able to share the experience for you with you. This is a recorded document that'll be on the channel, something that we could always look back on and see. And it's just fun, right? It's just fun to be able to take part in something like this. I know for a lot of people, for their like their firsts, they kind of maybe want to sit down, just have it enjoy. So for you to be willing to, uh, you know, let us be a part of this is something that I really do appreciate uh, you doing. Um, and like I said, for everyone out there, I really appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if this is in first time. In fact, your first time. I'm stuttering over my words. That's okay. I'm not going to edit that out. And finally, as always, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Do you own this figure? Um, are you happy with it? Is it something that you're still waiting on? Let me know your thoughts. Let Carlos know your thoughts. We can't wait to engage with you guys. And until then, this is Mr. Mom Collectibles saying take care. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good evening, everyone. So this is my inner Gandalf after uh, futzing the outfit a little bit and styling the rooted hair. Um, I still obviously still have some wrinkles to work out on the outfit, so I'm going to continue working on that. But I just wanted to give an update, show it on my display after a, a little bit of work. Um, I'm happy with the uh, how the rooted hair turned out after styling. I'm sure I could probably get it better. But for minimal effort, I mean, I think I put like maybe half an hour's worth of work into the uh, rooted hair and all the products there. So it's really simple. You just need to kind of pinch the beard together to separate it from the hair and then spread out the bottom um, so that it's not, you know, too pointy at the end. And then with the hair itself, um, I just, you know, separated the strands a little bit so it doesn't all look like one big clump of frizzy hair it looks a little bit more stringy you want to achieve the stringy look which I, again i think i could get a little better than that but i don't think it looks bad for the amount of time i put into it uh so my assessment of the figure holds i still give it a 9.5 out of 10 and i do think it's worth the price paid if you bought it at retail um the reason i give it a 9.5 and not a 10 is it's not perfect it has a few issues um, you know, no figure's perfect. So one of the issues is the wrist pegs. The wrist pegs are not the best. Um, the uh, 
wrist peg has a little magnet in it and that's what's holding but about like half of the hands seem not to be seem to not have the uh, hole drilled deep enough it seems like they're a little shallow so the um, mushroom peg friction fit peg doesn't actually snap or slot in it stays kind of loose so the hand I'm using right now for the staff is uh, not in there all the way it, it'll hold but I need to play around with it, see if I can make it work. But it just seems like it's a manufacturing defect on some of the hands because other hands just pop in perfectly, no problem. Um, other than that, the, uh, the string on the staff is actually extremely delicate. So I would say be very careful. Um, for me, I didn't realize it's not actually a string. It's actually a very thin piece of leather and tugging on it a little bit to kind of pull it down to put around the hand. In the inert video it shows you put a little lanyard that goes around the hand. Um, it just snapped on me like easily. It disintegrated on me after I pulled it off and tried to tie it up again too. So, I mean, that's easily replaced. Just get a little piece of brown string, but if you're, um, you know, be very careful with that if, uh, just so it doesn't get damaged. Don't don't put too much pressure. It'll, it'll snap pretty easily. Um, other than that, not an issue, but a concern is the actual base. The magnets seem okay, but it's definitely not as stable as a crotch grabber. Right now it's holding up pretty well, but I have to see long term if the base actually holds up. Uh, but again, those are just a few points. Other than that, I'm extremely happy with the figure, with the way it looks. It looks much better in person. You know, lighting on videos don't do it justice. Um, the figure looks great in person. I can't say enough about the look. It's a beautiful figure. And uh, I mean, if you have this on order, if you're looking to get it, um, you'll be happy with it. I think it's well worth the price, again, at retail. I wouldn't overpay for this figure. Just keep that in mind. Um, those are my thoughts. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm a very happy customer right now. And uh, I think Inart's on the right direction. I'm hoping they continue this momentum. Um, it's my first Inart figure, and I'm, I'm very pleased with what I got. Um, those are my thoughts, and I'll see you guys on the next one.